Welcome everybody to Fallout Worlds. This is an update to Fallout 76. That's right, they're still working on the game. They're trying to improve it. They're doing this, they're doing that. They took out Nuclear Winter. That was the PvP Battle Royale game mode. I'm not too happy about that, but my favorite mode is the Adventure mode there, so they are always going to have that. They better not get rid of that. Now they have Private Adventure, which you need Fallout First for. That's $12.99 a month. You also need Fallout First for a custom world. So like I said before, these these are all in adventure mode settings. You got the regular adventure mode, you got private adventure, happy builder, that's basically an adventure mode, and custom world adventures. Yeah, I mean, where's the PvP at now? You can customize Fallout Worlds to be more PvP driven, but there's not a an entire mode dedicated to PvP, which is what I think Fallout 76 needs now that they took Nuclear Winter out. So hopefully they'll add that, but today we're going to be focusing on Fallout Worlds now. $12.99 a month for Fallout First, I've never paid for, I never will pay for until maybe they add more to it or reduce that price. I'm paying $14.99 for Game Pass. I'm getting a whole slew of games for that price, $14.99, but I can't seem to justify paying $12.99 just for an extra game mode here in the game. You know, they're piquing my interest. I do love customization. I like getting in there in the game world and really creating my own creation and really tailor making it for myself and for others to enjoy. So I do I do like the idea, but I wish it wasn't behind a paywall like it is. How did I get in there? Well, you can get one free month of Fallout First if you're subscribed to Xbox Game Pass. Like I said a little bit earlier, I am subscribed to that. So you go to the perk section in the menu. It's kind of hard to get to, but once you get there, you can get a code. Anybody can do it as long as you have a Game Pass subscription. Put that in there, redeem that, and you get Fallout First for a month. But you got to remember to cancel that after a month or it sets you up for recurring automatic payment so they try to get you in the door and then close the door behind you and lock it unless you got a key to uh, get out of it so they try to get you there with those uh, automatic payments but as long as you cancel before a month they won't charge you for the second month so that's what I'm gonna do I'm getting in there just to check it out for free you get a whole slew of currency that you can use in Fallout 76 in the atomic shop you get what do they call them atoms or something like that you get like a thousand of those a month so you'll get those for your first free month you get a couple different cosmetic items for this month stuff like that so i got like this uh, halloween character apparel piece of clothing so that's cool so you get some stuff here besides access to the custom world but let's get on in there and i'm gonna show you the world that i created as you can see it's summer of 76 that's right guys it was the summer of 76 whoa yeah so what this is all about is just having fun in the sun guys it's not too serious it's not too hard nothing like that I switched all the settings around to be more of a uh, walk in the park here. I do like a challenge in my games, but this ain't Dark Souls. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for something completely different here. A little bit brighter, a little bit easier. This is uh, Light Souls. How about that? The exact opposite. The enemies aren't going to be too tough. Let me break it down for you. So you got three different categories of settings that you can change. First up, Workshop. We got Free Building. You can turn that on or off. Basically build anywhere you want to and anything you want. This determines whether or not camp options will require standard resources to be built so you can just build and build and build and it's not going to take away from your resources so everything's free and then camp power that's default determine how camps objects will be powered may override conditional power sources whenever it says default that's just what normal adventure mode settings are set at free workbench crafting determine whether or not workbench crafting will require standard resources so that's on that's free camp height now we can build very high here we can go nuclear which is even higher but you know i don't want to go quite that high you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get high but not too high you know what i mean so that's very high i didn't want to push it all the way to the limit i just wanted to expand the boundaries a little bit and then we have camp placement all locations allowed default most locations allowed all locations allowed like i said we're going for freedom out here in the summer of 76 all right so all locations are allowed you can build anywhere you can build on top of the god dang alligators hey if you want to at wavy willard's water park all right camp budget is very high the camp radius is very high as well so this means i can build out more so than you can in the default adventure world build a bigger base or camp whatever you want to call it camp budget is very high as well that means you can build more things within that space that's very high so there's relaxed building restrictions that's on allow 
fewer placement restrictions when building. All right, so you can just really go wild with it now with the building, and I like that. This game's not only about building, it's also about the combat as well. Sun's out, gun's out, if you know what I mean. I'm not talking about your arms, I'm talking about your firearms. All right, so equipment durability is very strong. Those firearms won't break down as fast. This is almost like a utopian world I'm going for where you don't got to spend a lot of money. Things don't break down. They're built well. Legendary mod effects are on. Proximity enemy spawn is off. This What this would do is allow additional creatures to spawn around the players. I don't want a lot of foolishness going on in this world where things are just spawning out of nowhere. That doesn't seem like a good time to me. So I have that turned off. Vats and melee AP cost is very low. So you can get into vats if you want to and it won't cost you much enough. The difficulty is easy. Like I said, I want this to be a cakewalk, a walk in the park. I want you to be able to build anywhere and do pretty much anything that you can. This is almost like a uh, dream sequence. And as you can see from the filter I put on it, we'll get to that later. But the PvP rules are default. They kind of nailed it in regular adventure mode. There's not a whole lot of PvP. It doesn't promote PvP. You know I love PvP, but I'm trying to do something different here with the Summer 76. Let's all get along. Like Rodney King said, can we all just get along? It's a summer of love, guys not fighting and PvPing. Alright, we're out here to have a fun time in the sun. Now, dismemberment, that's default. I don't want a bunch of body parts flying everywhere. That, Like I said, this is the summer of love, guys, not the summer of dismemberment. Ragdoll behavior. Nuclear force. If somebody happens to get out of line here and we gotta use some force i want it to be nuclear i want to see him go flying like a uh, something you see in a dream sequence maybe you know you, you feel like you have superhuman strength sometimes now the summer of 76 i bet a lot of people felt that way there's a lot of substances being used and sometimes it makes you feel like you're a superhero so now you know you have that force uh, of a superhero as well now infinite ammo is off that would maybe be good to turn on but you know maybe you know what i would maybe suggest turning that on i had it off here but i would maybe suggest turning that on because anything to make you're going easier uh, here in this world would be nice now damage received is very low while damage dealt is very high i'm trying to make it as easy as possible that's why i'm putting on infinite ammo now this might not be for everybody this normally isn't even my cup of tea but i want to have a world that is something different than the norm something you can't get anywhere else so that's what we're doing here this completely changes the game a lot of enemies are bullet sponge but with this damage received being low and the damage dealt being high, you can just tear through enemies, send them flying with that nuclear force, and it's fun. You know, it's just something different, something unique to experience out here. So that was the combat. Now, in the general settings, we have drop additional loot on death. No, that's off. Like I said, let's try to make this easy on us. Let's not drop any more loot. Nuke floor and creatures off. I don't want no nuked craziness going on. I don't want these mutations getting out of control here. Weather clear, of course. Of course, you gotta have clear weather. This is the summer of 76, and I don't want no one raining on my parade. I don't want my picnic being rained out. It rains a lot where I'm from in the summer. It's a bummer. All right, I don't wanna have a bummer summer. I want it to be nice and clear. Jump AP costs very low. You're not gonna get winded that much. You can just jump up and down all day long and have a good, fun summer. You might be listening to some tunes or something. It's the summer of 76. I want you to just be able to pump your fist, jump up and down, have a good old time without getting too tuckered out. So now the jump height is very high. So like I said, I want to get high, but not too high. You're going to be able to jump up and down high as well. You see a common theme here on the summer of 76? We're getting high. All right. Now I'm not talking about drugs. I'm talking about the jump height. Okay. Now the power armor drain very slow. So if you want to jump into some power armor, your fusion cores will last longer this i mean the summer of 76 is like a dream guys i'm telling you you get the best break in town here visual filter sugar bomb all right so this is like if you were to eat a whole lot of sugar bombs and right before you pass out from too much sugar you almost uh, hallucinate and it kind of changes the colors all around everything's a little bit surreal you're jumping higher sending guys flying you can't have a normal visual filter it's almost like you're jacked up on a bunch of sugar you're just flying through the air sending guys flying through the air with superhuman strength fast travel free you know 
know, I'm trying to save us some money out here as well in my world. I think we need to have free fast travel, free health care, free education, everything else like that. If Cuba can do it, I don't see why we can't do it here in the summer of 76 as well. Map locations all discovered. I want you guys to be able to go where you want to. I don't want there to be any limitation on travel. I want everybody to be able to travel freely. This land is your land. This land is my land. Fall damage very low. So as you can see here, I took a big fall. I built myself up and then didn't feel like walking all the way back down it. And I wanted to test this fall damage out. So I just tried to jump right onto the fountain there. Like you throw a penny in the fountain. I'm just throwing myself in there and wishing that I don't die when I hit the bottom. I, but I didn't know. I wasn't sure exactly. This modifies the fall damage by 75% less fall damage. So I ended up surviving it, but I did jack myself up pretty good. I took a little bit of a hit there on the health. Luckily, I do have this walking cane here, which now I'm going to need. And you guys can see why I'm doing stuff like this out here. I, I mean, it's getting crazy. Don't take too many sugar bombs or you might start jumping off stuff like that. So we're starting easy. And then I'm going to flip the script on you guys and do a real hard one as well for my hardcore gamers out there. But I want to do something different. You know, I'm, I'm sweating all over the place playing games like Battlefield, this and that. I'm just ready for a vacation, a relaxation. Summer of 76, that's what this is about here in Fallout 76. You guys can copy these settings if you want. Like I said, guys, you can get a whole month free of Fallout first. I do not suggest paying for this. $12.99 a month. I don't think you get enough for that price. I would suggest checking this out here and then playing the free modes once you cancel your Fallout first subscription. This game is great, guys. One of my favorite games, the Adventure Mode that's enough for me. I don't need to pay $12.99 and have all this extra stuff. So anywho, that's what we got out here. So now you can see what you can do if you get into Fallout Worlds. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. I got this for a month, so if you guys like this, I can do another one of these. Let me know in the comments below your ideas. I got some more as well, and maybe we can come up with something cool here that we can customize. And until next time, this has been Rusty Fluger. Rusty Fluger, over and out.